Is Extraction 2 better than the first? Time will tell. There are aspects that are stronger than the first movie and some that are not. Not gonna commit to one or other right now, but my gosh, if this isn't a fine collection to the action movie renaissance of the last decade. I love the whole stuntman turned directors thing going on. Sam Hargrave has really made a name for himself. And fun fact, his brother, Daniel Hargrave, his wife's parents at one point, and maybe still do, attend the church I used to work at. Pretty cool. I think I have that right. Something I struggled with a little bit in the first one was some of the brutality revolving around the villain and the children just that they chose to display that brutality against. And that villain felt like a nothing burger. While the villains have a bit more development this time around than the first film, you never quite understand their motivations deeply, although I appreciate the attempt to give them more screen time and more depth. They're still vile, awful human beings, but I am so, so tired of evil Christian characters turned cult leaders as villains. It is a trope that has been beaten to death and adds absolutely nothing to the film other than a seemingly misunderstood look at warping Christianity. And it seems like an agenda. You could remove that element entirely about the villains and not lose a thing. After the big long take action sequence, which we'll get to, the action afterwards never reaches those same heights. Speaking of, though, the skyscraper set piece actually is quite good and refreshingly doesn't try to mimic what came before, which is nice and leads more into just well-staged set pieces with good choreography. That I'm okay with, even if it does feel a little weird that there weren't more attempts at long take cinematography here, but the final battle especially seems quite tame and borderline anticlimactic in comparison to the standout and very good set piece before it. It's not bad, it's still entertaining, it's just over very quickly and lacks the oomph of the previous ones. And my man Daniel Bernhardt is wasted, which is a tragedy. He has so much talent, I want him to lead a project like this soon. Now that's not to say that any of the action isn't well staged or exciting. It's incredible and continues to elevate the genre. And each action sequence is very different from the others in the film especially the 21 minute long take sequence. Now, I've seen criticism as it's not a true long take and some feel that hurts the concept of what goes into them. I can see where they're coming from with that, but context matters. It's still a very impressive series of long takes strung together to make a huge one. And that's no small feat. It took them 29 days to shoot. And frankly, I've never seen one done on this scale with this scope and magnitude. And this is edge of your seat precision-based cinematography leading to tension that had me sweating by the end. You'll lose your breath in the best kind of way. It is one of the all-time best action sequences I think I've ever filmed and experienced. I'm not kidding. I know that seems like hyperbole, but I'm a sucker for a long take and flight scenes and this blew me away. But as I mentioned, it's in the first act, that long take, and they attempted different kinds of action later on so it doesn't feel stale. For the skyscraper scene, it largely works and is great, but again, I'm surprised there were no long takes here. And we already went over the final one, which was entertaining, but weirdly abrupt. I'm also pleased to say the emotional core from the first one remains. I do really miss the character of Obi and what that dynamic added with Tyler in the first one, but Hemsworth still showcases such a variety of talent here comedic timing, gravitas with emotion, and a knack for action and choreography that stupefy. How they continue his arc from where we left it with the death of his child is poignant and actually had me briefly ugly cry at the end. It hit me hard as a dad. I was also happy to see the side characters get way more screen time. The likable and absolutely killer in the action sequences. There's a really good ensemble here. You even get a Thor reunion with Idris Elba getting an extended cameo. The tease for a third is a little too strong, but it's still exciting. I'll be curious what else they can do with the character of Tyler Rake at this point, but I don't know what they would do for this one and it worked really well. All in all, I was not a fan of the villains and the action outdid itself a smidge too early in the film that led to anticlimax in the climactic fight, but that's not lessening the impact and grit within every action scene. It feels more personal, it takes itself seriously. Netflix has another hit on their hands without a doubt. Extraction 3 has been confirmed, and I say, bring it on. I give Extraction 2 four and a half out of five stars. Thanks so much for watching. Ring the bell to be notified of all videos upcoming soon. Be sure to like this video as well, it really helps out with the algorithm. And remember, always look for the good.